So you want to know the truth about turning 40. The truth is, ladies, we still them chicks. We're still them chicks. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, my name is Tisha Innes. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome to all things Jesus, entrepreneurship. I'm going to dip into fashion, relationships, topics that relate to women that are turning 40 or are in their 40s, all the things. And today is a little different from the other videos that I've posted so far. A lot of the other videos that I've posted are like strictly based on like just, I guess, testimonies, the word of God. And also, I mean, but everything is all based on what he has placed on my heart to share. And so I guess today is nothing different. Well, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. Today is a little different because there's a little superficiality in it, but I don't think so. I, it's just, you'll understand. Let me just get into this video. Big up to the 80s babies, early 80s chicks, mid 80s, and also to those who are born in 87 and prior, because listen, 87, 87, you staring 40 in the face. No, 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 no. You are staring 40 in the face. I just let you know that. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's nice over here. It took me a little bit to embrace it, but I'll get into that as well. So I turned 40 in the pandemic. The world was upside down. People were passing away left, right, and center. We were experiencing something that not even our parents' generation ever experienced. And I really just thought that Jesus was coming back. I was going to die without, well, I wouldn't say die, but I was going to get raptured without having gotten married and having any kids and just all the other things that I still desired to do. And I wasn't upset about it because obviously, like, the things of this world will pass away and I count them as rubbish, as Paul said, to gain what is better. Um, not to get too churchy in this video, but I'm going to get churchy anyway because I love the Lord and he's just incorporating everything I do. And so anyway, so yeah, I was going through the motions. I was getting teased like, oh, you're about to turn 40, you about to be old. And I'm like, shut up, shut up. I'm still 39. I'm still 39. <laughs> just holding on to it like with dare life. And in all retrospect, 40 is not old. You're not as young as you were, but you're far from old. And the 50-something year olds and 60-something year olds, 70-something year olds, 80-something year olds, they will tell you that 40 is young. But you are caught in this dichotomy of not being as young as you were, but not being old. This dichotomy of what do I want to put away and what do I need to embrace in this new season? Like, I don't want to give up my cuteness. I'm not hanging up that jersey. I'm not hanging up my stiletto heels. I'm not hanging up the lipstick. I'm not hanging up the cute little outfits. I'm not going to be dressing like Claire Huxtable. Big up to Claire Huxtable though. You know, I love you, Felicia Rashad. There's no shade against you. You're gorgeous. But like, we grew up in that era where we saw TV shows like The Huxtables or The Cosby Show and Family Ties and Family Matters and all those types of TV shows where women who played characters that in our age group dress completely different and society tries to put stigma on a woman your time has passed you're not that girl anymore and i'm like no 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 no! i'm not going to embrace that mindset you have men who are in their 50s 60s called the silver fox crew you know with that salt and pepper beard hair looking sharp and all the things and they are embraced versus like Women are told, oh, you're a cougar. You are a woman that is just trying to be something that you're not. We are 40, 41, 42, but we still feel young. We still feel sexy. We still want to dress cute. We don't feel like we are ready to let the gray hair show. We have little fine lines and stuff like that, but it's beautiful in its own way. I feel like when you turn 20 and 21, you're just basically a legal teenage adult. <laughs> Like when you hit 30, you have more responsibilities. But I feel like when you hit 40, you're a grown woman. Like you are a seasoned adult. Things that you did not tolerate, it's like, listen, I could love you a little bit more, but I'm not putting up with that. You better go somewhere with that. Like, so there's like so much beauty in this age and this season of womanhood that I want to encourage women who are about to turn 40 not to be afraid. I included women on my thumbnail who I think are absolutely stunning. And there's so much more in our age group. I am within their age. Same year, Kim Kardashian was born, Monica, Ashanti, who else? Like, just a slew of baddies. And they are still 
living. They're still fly. They're still cute. They're having babies for the first time. Big up Ashanti. They are still taking care of themselves, still looking snatched. Face card has not declined. And I want to drill into women that don't follow what society has to say. Like we were born in such an awesome time. We were free from social media as children. We used our minds. We were creative. We had to read books. We had to do research. But at the same time, in the same breath, our generation is the one who created social media. The guys who created Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, ChatGBT, YouTube were born in the early 80s and late 70s. We are just that generation. It was a beautiful time. The 90s was a vibe when I was in elementary school, junior high school, and high school. And I wouldn't change it for anything. I think that society beats into women's head that you're on your way to becoming this forgotten person. And you might as well just focus on living out the rest of your lives, staying in their lane. There's nothing against women building businesses. Like women are the fastest growing entrepreneurship group, especially black women. And no one's fighting against that, but like women that have not had children yet, that have never been married yet, is basically like when you hit that 40 mark, you might as well get up. Or if you do become pregnant, oh, why are you gonna do that to the child? That's selfish. You're gonna be old by the time they're X, Y, and Z. Like, shut up. Mind your business, okay? Mind your business. How about that? Who told you that I have to stop procreating after 39? Who says that I can't wear dunks? I can't wear Air Force Ones, can't wear that fly tracksuit because a 20 something year old is wearing it. No, I still look good in it too. You wanna know what's also sad? Is that you have many women out there that beat into this asinine rhetoric that a woman cannot have these big and audacious dreams after a certain age. Specifically like in the areas of love and romance and things that she can accomplish. You've missed that season of having big love, being swept off of your feet, being wine and dine and romanced and being truly loved and experienced Experiencing what you've always dreamed of. You've passed the stage of being a mother, so you might as well just give it up. It's crazy to me how people think and what they believe is truth. But then that's where we have to get into the word of God and realize that what God says is the truth. And I speak specifically to women of God who have been holding on to faith for, you know, in different areas like for family. Okay, so I'm gonna record the rest of this video without the mic because it keeps on dying. And before I break it up and smash it into smithereens. I have to remember that I get what I pay for. <laughs> I speak to the women of faith who have waited on the Lord, waited for um, kingdom partnership in the form of marriage and children and just all the things like, don't give up, don't lose heart, don't lose hope. Or maybe you're married and you have not had a child yet and they're telling you like, hey, give it up, you're this age now, it's not gonna happen. Like, get into your word, believe what God says is truth. God says that with God, nothing is impossible. So you stand on that. Now, if he's giving you that hope and that dream to continue to believe for these things, continue to believe for it. Don't believe what the world is telling you because that's the lies of the devil just coming to kill your hope and steal your faith. Now, there are things that sometimes we need to surrender. But, and I feel like God will give us the, the knowing when to surrender it. Don't try to fit into what society says is possible for your life. Like the sky is the limit to what you can have. I truly believe that. I also believe like if you want to get Botox, if you want to get fillers, if you want to get a little nip and tuck and if that's going to make you feel more confident to step out into things that he is showing you to do and do that as well. Like there's nothing in the word of God that tell you that tells you that you cannot even work on that side of yourself, which is your physical self, even though we know that it's passing away. There's nothing wrong with that either. Live out loud, live your dreams. Be in align with his purpose, be in align with the word of God. And that's by seeking him. We all know that. Once you have God, that's all you need. Don't let anyone tell you what is possible for your life. I've had many people tell me that I could be a model. Matter of fact, even two months ago when I was at the Women Evolve Conference, two women came up to my friend and was like, is she a model? Because I was just taking selfies of myself. And my friend told me and they were like smiling. I was like, no, and I was like, I wish. I wish somebody would pay me to be a model. I like to eat. And you know, I would just continually say these things over the years that no, uh, no, you gotta be skinny. I'm just talking myself out of these things. Like maybe God wanted to open up a door in that area for me to model, to have a stream of income and to even impact in that industry. Who knows? I don't know. But I always would talk myself out of it because I was like, I'm not skinny enough. And back in the day when there were quote unquote recruiters that were on the road that tried to recruit me, it just turned out to be like false and trying to take my money and just con and scan people. And even one person gave me a business card that said Wilhelmina on it. And then when I went to the Wilhelmina offices to do like an open casting call, like the guy didn't even, he looked at me and then just walked. It's like, so I just never thought of that as a possibility for myself. Like we, there's still so much life to live. 
there is hopes and, and aspirations that God has placed into women our age and a lot of us have talked ourselves out of it. And I believe that when God comes back, he's going to say to many of us, look, I had all of these things that I wanted you to accomplish, you wanted you to do, and you just didn't have enough faith or belief to receive it. So it just passed you. And I don't want that to be for myself. I want those jewels and that crown. And I know that it's not involving self because anything that he tells you to do is always to impact those who are around you. And so though this video may be talking about being fabulous and 40 and having a you know, face card and cute and high heels and all these things. It's also to encourage women that you are not forgotten. Like you don't have to lose yourself. There's still so much more to, to achieve and to experience and to gain. And, and that's why I hope that you, anyone that's watching this takes away from this video is that you're not feeding into the lies of the devil because God has so much more for you. I just wanted to encourage my 40 and fabulous girlies to do your thing, live life, travel, build businesses, create legacy, impact, give, share, love God, love people, spread the love of God to all that you come across. Let them know that who he is in your life. Yeah, keep it pushing, just push back the haters. And so I encourage you as I encourage myself because I am pushing, putting myself out here on this channel, saying things that I normally would never be comfortable to share. We just see where it goes. I can go on and on, but I don't want to make this video too long. If you liked what you saw and listened to today, to God be the glory. But I also ask you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button so that the next time I come out with a video, you are notified. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. And until next time, bye.